Hi everyone. So back in March, I did my annual Manifesting March challenge. And once again, third time round, this challenge really just blew me away. Now, first of all, when I talk about manifesting money, I'm talking about changing our attitude and approach to the way that we attract money in our lives. It's not about just sitting there and omming for like amazing deposits um, to be made into our bank account, but actually open up the channels of what, the ways we can manifest and create abundance. It doesn't necessarily have to be deposits into a bank account. It might be a gift from a friend. It might be a new savings we find. It might be a coin that we find in the street. But it's about being open to all the different ways that we can bring in blessings into our lives and stopping and showing gratitude towards these blessings. Now, this was it, so many freaky things happened during this period, and I should apologize, I'm only sharing this with you now, but I have been so busy finishing off mindful money that this sort of got pushed to the bottom of the list, but I'm so excited about sharing this vlog with you now. Now, please make sure you watch this to the very, very end because I will share with you the total value of things that I manifested over the 30 day period. And you'll be blown away by the freaky things that happened. But I want you to remember that when you do a manifesting challenge, and I did this over 30 days, it's about being open to the flow of money, being grateful for no matter how small or how big the blessing or financial like deposit or, or financial benefit comes into your life and just really enjoying it with a light, healthy, happy energy. All right, enjoy watching this vlog, watch to the end, and I will report back as to what the total value I manifested. So manifesting March, we manifested a new lunchbox. To cut a really long story short, someone refused to return Rocco's lunchbox. He had this lunchbox, which was really special to him. It was a monkey lunchbox, and I call him monkey, and he's had it since he was one and a half years old. Anyway, I, I sort of gave up in trying to get it back for him and thought, it's fine, I'll just go and buy a new one. Anyway, magically, um, Georgie Abbe from the Grace Tales randomly gave me one of these really cool um, yum boxes for Rocco. So, um, manifesting March, Rocco and I managed to manifest a new lunchbox, so I didn't have to go and buy a new one. And he loves this because apparently yellow now is his favorite color, so he's really excited about that. But pretty cool, manifesting all sorts of different things. So literally the other day, I was struggling to fit into any of my skirts. Um, Apple is getting bigger, and um, my skirts are all tight. I've only got one skirt that's like a stretchy one, and even that is too tight. And I was thinking, okay, maybe I should maybe go and get one skirt to get me through this pregnancy because the weather's still quite warm. Anyway, um, lo and behold, one of my amazing girlfriends, um, I was over at her house helping her out with something and she had this skirt. She's like, hey, would you like this? It's too big for me um, and I don't wear it and I don't want it. And um, I offered to give her money for it, but it's actually my favorite brand or one of my favorite brands, Scanlon and Theodore. And it's... Um, it actually probably would have cost her a hate thing, but probably around about $350. Anyway, um, I have to get it slightly taken in so it fits around the bump, but it's actually a really classic skirt, and I can think of so many things that this really classic, like, A-line um, skirt will go with. It's like a really nice, um, li really well-made linen fabric, just really simple. Perfect with a white shirt, a black shirt, perfect for work, and also it's not too long and not too short, so perfect for me with Apple. So I'm just doing my laundry. I'm taking the sheets out of the washing machine and look what I have found. A $2 coin, and if you haven't seen from my other videos, I'm actually collecting $2 coins, putting them into a water bottle and um, watching them add up because when they get to, the, get to the brim, I believe they'll be close to $1,000, which is perfect for the $1,000 project. I'm taking this upstairs. You wouldn't believe it, but there's actually another $2 coin at the bottom of the washing machine. Now, this is really weird because in this load of washing, it's just sheets. There's no like pants with pockets or shorts with pockets. It's just sheets. So this is pretty freaky. $4 to add to the water bottle. So I have wanted the Isabel Morant Bobby sneakers, I think for about six or seven years. I've wanted them even before Rocco was born. 
and I could never bring myself to paying so much for a pair of sneakers. I think they retail for seven hundred and fifty dollars. Anyway, the other day I was looking on high end on Facebook, which is this amazing clothes group, and I found the sneakers in the color that I wanted and in my size for one hundred and fifty dollars. And the girl lived about 10 15 minutes away from my house so I literally just popped over there now and I picked them up and they are in perfect condition they've barely been worn and I've just saved myself at least $600 I am so happy with my manifesting magic so yesterday I made $200 quick cold hard cash from Gumtree sales I had this brand new outdoor security camera it was given to me, it was still in the box, unopened. And to be honest, I just wanted to get rid of it. I didn't need it, want it, or use it. And I just like, I sort of thought, oh look, I'm just, I'm sure like 30 to $50 will be fine. Anyway, just before I listed it, I did some quick research to see how much they retail for. And turned out they actually retail for $300. And mine was like completely unopened. So I listed it for um, 200 and um, I, it was sold within pretty much 48 hours. I'm so happy. So my point is always, always, always research what you're selling before you go and list it online because you never know, it actually might be a lot more valuable than you realize. Whoa. <laughs> um, manifesting March, I got some new sneakers. Now, when I have been needing new sneakers for about two months, I am such a picky, fussy shopper. It is really hard for me to sometimes just buy things. I can't just like buy. I have to like make sure they're the exact color, they're really comfortable, the right size, the right support. Like it's annoying. Anyway, I was just trying to delay for as long as possible. And then the other day, Tom and I went for a long walk and we got caught in like torrential rain. My sneakers got so saturated that they basically, it took about two or three days for them to dry out. And when they finally did dry out, they stank so badly. Um, and I tried all sorts of different things to clean them up. So I had to like draw a line in the sand and go, you know what, time to just buy some new sneakers. So literally, um, I went and visited the store probably for the fifth time to try and like decide what pair of sneakers. And shortly after leaving the fifth the store the fifth time before buying them, I got a random email from Nike going, we have a $50 voucher for you um, from your, your all your loyalty points shopping with Nike. So I just got $50 off a new pair of sneakers. Now, I find that when I buy a new pair of sneakers, it really motivates me to have like a really strong hard workout at the gym. So today at lunchtime, I'm off to the gym. So another manifesting March blessing. I had to go to the HCF dentist to get like a hygiene clean and they told me I need to get a retainer because my teeth are starting to move. Anyway, the hygienist um, said to me uh, when she finished, if I book you in with the um, dentist, rather than the orthodontist, your retainer will cost less than $100. But if I book you in with the orthodontist, um, it will be over $400. So she said the only reason she can do it is because they haven't actually officially set their new prices. So that little blessing has just saved me at least $300 for my new retainer. Manifesting magic at $570.52. I changed my accounts from AGL to Origin Energy about nine months ago and um, changed it all over, no, no problems whatsoever. Um, they've just sent me a letter in the mail. It's been sitting in my handbag actually for a couple of weeks. I've been so busy saying good news There's a credit on your previous AGL account The amount to be refunded is five hundred and seventy dollars and fifty two cents and basically it goes on to say please complete your details down here with your to have the money um, paid into your bank account um, incredible so um, I mean, I always paid my bill on time. I never overpaid it. I have no idea how this has happened and my origin energy bill is is um, paid on a monthly basis. So I don't understand, but it even came with a self-addressed um, and stamped um, envelope so I can quickly send this off. So I'm gonna do that today. How good is that? Manifesting March is freaking me out. It is so powerful with what's going on. So my body is really changing with this pregnancy. I'm a naturally curvaceous person, but I'm busting out in all sorts of interesting places. 
Now, being a minimalist, I actually don't have many swimmers or bikinis, like an embarrassing low amount. And I can't wear any of them anymore without potentially flashing someone. So I was looking online at, you know, maybe getting a new bikini and a new one piece. And there are two brands which I really like. One is pronounced, I think, Marisa or Maricia or Mary Sia. And I don't actually own one of these swimmers, but I've always loved them. And um, they're really classic and timeless and they're like a really thick fabric, but they're really expensive. So I've never actually like bitten the bullet and bought one. And then the other brand that I really like is um, Maria Hoffman, which are like really colorful um, swimmers. Um, and they go on sale and they're, they're pretty well priced. Anyway, I was looking at two, um, I was looking at both brands and looking at like different colors and styles and cuts. And then the freakiest thing happened. My girlfriend, who was the same girlfriend that gave me that skirt, gave me the exact one piece that I was looking at online, which I think retails for like at least $250. So this is the exact one that I was looking online thinking of buying. She gave it to me. She said, yeah, it doesn't fit me. I never wear it. It's not right. I don't suit one pieces. And um, I got it and it's great because it's a little bit big. So it goes around the bump and it actually keeps me covered up appropriately nice and PG with the top part as well she then gave me a Mari Sia um, one piece which is so beautiful and so classic I absolutely love it unfortunately I don't have it with me right now because I left it at Tom's but it's classic black like halter neck cut so nice and just she's barely worn it it's absolutely perfect and um she's like here have both I don't need them I don't wear them I'm gonna throw them out if you don't take them so I was like uh-huh and the exact time when I needed new swimmers. How seriously good is that? Uh, it's happened again. I have another letter from AGL saying I now have a um, money to be refunded is $210.39. Now, there was an issue with AGL where basically I was paying for somebody else's meter and um, and it was all fixed up and corrected so I don't understand how there was uh, how I still have been I owe, owed money but I'm gonna give the call, a call and find out and then I'm gonna give them my bank account details so that they can deposit this 210 so that means over $740 has been refunded during the month of March manifesting March um, just simply from AGL it like I just blows my mind I do not understand what is going on so tonight I just did some market research and I earned $110 cash. Okay, so now you've seen all the incredibly freaky, beautiful and amazing things that happened during this money manifestation challenge. If you add up all the individual things, I actually managed to manifest over $2,819 worth of value. And I've listed all these individual things and the dollars value in the video description box below for you to go and have a look. Now, if you're currently working on a financial goal right now, whether it be paying off a credit card debt, paying down a student debt, or something really exciting like saving up for a deposit on your first home, I highly recommend doing this challenge for yourself. Make sure that you remain completely open to the way of manifesting money. It may not necessarily be deposits in your bank account. It could be blessings and gifts in other forms. Also, it is incredibly important to show equal gratitude and respect and appreciation for all the blessings, no matter how big and how small. And remember to put yourself out there. I looked at putting things online, such as Gumtree. I did research to help find additional savings. And also I remained open the whole entire time because all sorts of weird things can happen in the universe when you really put a powerful goal out there and you're dedicated and determined to receive it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it's inspired you to have a look at the way you look at your mindset when it comes to money. And don't forget, in my next book, Mindful Money, I really talk about the importance of having a really healthy mindset and attitude when it comes to you, your money, and your financial goals. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to share, and I'll see you next week for more Money Monday. Ciao for now.